Let's take a look at my one week progress on a brand new Clash of Clans account. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. We have upgraded to Town Hall 4. This is the second day of progress on this account. Obviously we had a totally separate episode showcasing the first 24 hour progress. So now we have from day 2 until day 7. I have gone ahead and built all of the new buildings for Town Hall 4. As I recommended in that first episode, get the buildings built make sure it is the mines and pumps alongside the storages you are upgrading and that is exactly what I've been doing and it's actually the weekend so being real with you I have a busy weekend ahead this series is going to be a realistic progression I'm not doing any type of speed run day three of this account I am pretty happy with our progress to be honest with you I have been as I've explained a bunch of times to you focusing on the mines and pumps as well as the storages and you can see that now we have much more capacity it's not like we're going to cap off at all now i have maxed the lab at this point as well so that is going to be awesome so looking at the storages i think two hours is pretty good i'm going to go ahead and just upgrade that this storage is fully maxed and two hours beautiful because within this time whilst the builders are working i can continue farming and get lots of of resources so let's get out there and see what we can find but at this level i like to use the giants and archers normally i like to mix in a few wall breakers as well but honestly i haven't unlocked them yet so let's use the barbarians to take out the mortar since that is relatively exposed at the corner of the base then we can use a giant or a few of them to tank the archer tower followed by archers behind i'm also going to put a couple towards this top cannon i can use archers to take that we don't have to worry about defenses on the back end of the base but sometimes it is good to check the corners in case there are builder hoods once you get the giants into the base like i said sometimes you need wall breakers it's relatively easily they can tank the defenses even take them down and your archers can finish things off giving you the loot and hopefully the three stars I don't know about you guys, but I actually really enjoy the lower town hall levels. I think it's really cool to play through those lower levels and the lower troops. Now we just have the barch. I might as well get two giants and then I can cook up a different army after that. There we go. That will do me nicely. And we can wait the couple of hours, but now I have more than enough loot to continue upgrading my base day number four before we begin today's little segment i want to cover a couple of things because i did say that the lab was maxed however we can upgrade the barracks another couple of levels in fact so we will be spending more elixir truthfully speaking the gold i think is going to slow us down because of all of the walls and even though i have rearranged the base I wish I could purchase some of these, but we're not doing it on this account. I'm resisting temptation. Even though we have rearranged the base, we still have to build the air defense. That will mean that our base is much more powerful. Why don't we get rid of the gem box? Gets us a little bit closer to the 500 gems. 25 gems. We can check the profile. I have not collected any of the gems since we were on here a couple of days ago. 389. Anything in here we've actually got another 10 gems more gold and elixir can we collect that yes we can fantastic 399 just 101 to go because honestly what is slowing me down the most is only having two builders that's where saving all of your gems as a free-to-play player is super important. Since I have a lot more gold than elixir available right now, let's upgrade some of these walls, in fact. We might as well begin that wall grind. Don't worry, I have the base link. I can easily just reload this base. But I wanted to feel like Beaker for a second. Look at this, 44 walls upgraded, only 44 thousand gold let's do it yes that is awesome we can do it again Two hundred and twenty thousand gold that would use a lot of our gold but honestly with my farming army i am doing right now i'm getting a lot of loot i'll show you in a moment but here we go we might as well do it yet again all of those walls 
man, that is satisfying. And just like that, in five minutes, our base looks so much better than it did. It seems we've made more progress than the entire four days up until this point. That is how powerful the walls make your base look. Let's get one more builder working before I do a little bit more farming. I think the gold storage. I'm trying to continue getting these storages, but what I have found at this level is that you need to search for quite some time. I mean, this one's not too bad. 17,000 gold, 22,000 elixir. We found this pretty much straight away. And if we look at the mines and pumps, they are full. Whereas we look at the storages, there's not a lot in there. However, do not let the levels deceive you because this is a low level gold mine. There's actually not too much in there. Yes, this one will have a lot more, but since the storages are higher upgraded that is going to mean that there's more in there so let's let's show you this as i deploy some troops to the bottom you'll notice that we won't get as much gold from the gold mines down the bottom look at the gold yes it's going down but it's not going down super quick now when i deploy my troops here let's have a look at the gold now look at it go down because that one gold mine has so much more gold now, i'm just going to get the mines and pumps on the outside the elixir storages have a little bit more in them but i'd have to commit quite a lot more troops in order to get that loot and farming is all about the resources you actually don't even need the victory just to prove it to you defeat is it a defeat what do you think I think the loot is the victory. Now I don't have any giants, but it doesn't matter. We can just go to this menu, train them back up, and my army will be even again. Now let's do a couple of other attacks so that we have lots of loot to make sure our builders are working overnight. This is where I am telling you to keep searching because you might find a base like this. This is incredible. Now, if you do find a base with a huge amount of loot, be careful. Try and pick off any of the mines and pumps you can with just archers. Now, if I can, I'm going to try and get this cannon down because that means I can flood this right area. But try and just get anything you can first. I think getting those elixir collectors will give me a good amount of elixir. I don't think I can get the wizard tower. So actually what I'm going to do is push all three giants in towards the mortar. Because if we get that down, we should be able to get a good amount of the gold over here. And hopefully... I get one or two more archers across to that side, we should be able to get that. Now, I'm thinking if I take the archer tower, they might be able to snipe the town hall. Again, that's a pretty good value resource because the town hall is a storage. So giants will indeed get the archer tower. That means we can get all of the gold mines. Trying to avoid, if I can, the wizard tower. Oh, I wish I had been able to push a little bit more in towards this area because giants might even get the cannon by themselves. Could we get this? The gold is going down massively. We should be able to get all of it. Come on, giants, get that cannon. Oh, they've got it. Let's go. Okay, could we get this wizard tower? So let's let the giant come across. Now let's use the archers over here. Oh, they targeted the elixir collector. No. Let's see if I can get barbarians in front of the archers. But it might be that the wizard tower can actually hit the barbs and the archers. It can. Oh, it's so close. If I had a little bit better placement of those archers, we would have been able to get this. But unfortunately, now wait a second. Wait a second, Judo. Wizard Tower locks onto these barbs. I've got five barbs for the back end of the base. One minute left. Could we get this? Barb's going down fast. Let's use one barb here. Is the Wizard Tower going to lock on yet? It's not. So I wasted that barbarian. But I've got four to tank as the archers come through. Even if not, they're going to get all of the elixir. But if we could get the three star, this would be epic. All of the loot. Let's tank that Wizard Tower. Let's tank that Wizard Tower. Goodbye! The three stars! Yes! I don't know why I get so excited at this lower level, but I think being able to pull off the three star by just strategically tanking things is epic. And we capped off on gold. It's not like we're going to cap off at all. That's why I'm telling you to upgrade those storages. It's why I still have the builder upgrading, because that one attack 
build the storage, that means we can keep the builders working overnight. Day number five, welcome back, even though every time I record these little snippets, it is towards the back end of the day, so we are getting close to just 24 hours remaining. I have been trying to upgrade my walls quite significantly. In fact, I can do quite a few of them now, actually. Just 21 wall pieces left until we have all of the walls maxed. I still have a few extra buildings to go, but I'm thinking we could get to a maxed Town Hall 4 by the end of the first week. And I would be pretty happy with that because I wasn't able to be online as much as I would have wanted within the first 24 hours episode. Ah, we are so close to getting that next builder. Just 41 gems. We can actually go ahead and remove some of the obstacles. When I have a builder, oh, these two builders are the bane of my life. Come on. There we go. Come on. We got three gems from that one, so we are getting there. In terms of the upgrades from here, what I found is the elixir I am overflowing in it. Yes, I have the wall breakers to research when the goblins are finished, but that is it. I can finish off upgrading the barracks, but then it's all about the gold. I will do another couple of attacks in the background. However, oh, look at this. I actually missed the fact that the bombs were able to be upgraded. So let's complete those before I forget and make sure that we are at least keeping our two builders going. We've only got a little bit more today than overnight and a few hours in the morning before the one week mark. Could we get to be a maxed Town Hall 4? Now I have made a big mistake here, so I want you to not make the same mistakes. That's a positive of this series, I guess. I have talked about keeping the two builders working, trying to get your third builder as soon as possible, but I should have built this boat because over in the builder base, I could remove obstacles to get gems. And whilst I have been removing them here in the home village, I'm only 20 gems away. Once I get the third builder, that speeds us up massively. So let's go ahead and get the boat built so that we... Oh, the irony! I need a builder to repair the boat and I didn't even realize. I thought it just happened thought that was a nice part of clash of clans part of the tutorial but no we need those builders so i will be sure to do that in a couple of hours once my builders are free try and get them on probably the barracks overnight eight hours that will be perfect for me and if we do some speed farming in the morning might be able to get this last night before i went to bed i built the boat went to the builder's base, did the tutorial, and started attacking. I wanted to go on a mission to get the third builder, make sure that we had all of them working overnight so we had the best opportunity of being a maxed Town Hall 4 by the end of the week. As I was progressing through the builder base, I then wanted to remove the obstacles for the free gems. I did not realize you needed to be a Builder Hall 3 to remove the obstacles. That's what's great about this series. Whilst I can bring you my expertise across the years of playing, the game does develop. Things change, so we can also learn together. That's where I shifted my focus. I continued with some Builder Hall attacks because there are achievements within the Builder Base. And honestly, the achievements are the way to go in order to get free gems. Once I had defeated enough Builder Halls, that gave me the gems and I went on another couple of attacks in order to gain enough trophies 
for even more free gems. And whilst the footage crashed, so I cannot show you, we did unlock the third builder. Interestingly, the other two builders were working. So I don't know who built the third builder hut, but let's forget about that. I was happy. I decided to upgrade the rest of the walls so that again, overnight, I did not have as much loot available to the enemy and also made some upgrades that were longer in time, at least eight hours. And now we can get into the final day. Time is ticking. We actually have 22 minutes to be precise until the week is up. So I've set my couple of builders that are spare and ready to go onto the obstacles. Make sure we are continuing to get our free gems. Like I said, the way to go is honestly the achievements. And I think the best one is here league all-star join the crystal league 250 gems that sounds like quite a task but then when you get to masters league and the champion league you actually get enough gems from those achievements to unlock the builders so maybe we go on a little bit of a mission however let's take a look at this what have we got left over well we've got the clan castle that actually doesn't take any time in order to repair oh we get some free gems for that sweet five gems better than nothing we now have to get to 1000 but in terms of the upgrades the town hall is 150,000 12 hours which means for the next episode we will be a town hall 5 all of the walls are maxed everything else apart from this cannon and unfortunately a couple of elixir collectors so we're going to be just short 100,000 gold, nice. I'm going to leave that there so that we can collect it once we've actually upgraded since I've already upgraded all of the walls at this stage. And I guess I could do some attacks in order to progress. We've actually got the practice mode. Again, I'm going to leave this for when we need the loot. So maybe the start of the next episode, we will be finishing that. And I think the single player maps, we should be able to get down there pretty quickly. You know what? Let's do Mega Blaster real quick, just whilst we can. All I've been doing is splitting the giants across the area. We can actually use a couple of wall breakers i guess there's got to be traps there pick off this air defense i don't need the balloons as such and let's just spam everything else in to be honest with you whilst you can be very preservative i might as well use the troops here i can get all of the loot and i think i could get pretty far down the goblin maps maybe within the next month we see what we can do as a town hall five i think that would be pretty interesting find out along with this series how quick we can actually get all of the way down to dragon slayer like could we do it as a town hall seven or eight maybe some of the maps get pretty difficult you've seen from my goblin map speed runs that yeah they get pretty difficult so let's do this town hall I know I'm not fully maxed, but at... Oh, we can upgrade the clan castle! I did not realize. Obviously, I had not even built it at this stage. So that is a must. Eight hours. Let's get it done. In my upgrade guides, I always talk about the clan castle. And I'm actually going to upgrade the town hall. I know I have a couple of things left. We've got 20 minutes. The builders need to get working. So there we go. Town Hall 5 it will be. We've got 18 minutes to be precise until the week is up. But here is my base. So we can have a quick look at the base when we first started. Then after 24 hours in the previous episode. And now after one week. I think we've made some pretty awesome progress in one week. What will it look like after another three hour first month? But if you do want to see when we had the first 24 hour progress on this base, it is linked on your screen alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.